Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? Um, I got something a little bit different to show you today. I wanted to take you guys back and show you how the game got started and how the development process went. So I picked out a few old videos. Um, I think we're going to react to them. Uh, we'll, we'll go through that journey together. Uh, we'll find lots of bugs, um, lots of things, that are, lots of broken builds. And, um, you know, at, at the very least, it should be entertaining. And, you know, maybe we'll, we'll even learn something. So, so grab a drink or something, because this one might be a little bit longer. Uh, and let's get into it. All right, so I think our first build is from the end of 2017. I definitely had an older one than this where I had like just boxes and spheres moving around. This is the oldest one I could find. Let's see if it still runs. Okay, um, and we're off in space. Um, these are some old models I made uh, in college uh, just for fun for an RTS. Oh, yeah, cool. So this looks like it actually has the uh, um, the dual controller support or uh, dual player. So I, I'm i controlling the player on the right with an Xbox controller and the guy on the left with keyboard. Um, but I seem to be out in space. I don't know. I don't know where we are. There's a wall here. Uh, let's let's see what's going on. Oh. Oh. Oh, I must have started the uh, the random level generator. And it looks like it's buggy because there's like walls. <laughs> um, yeah, this is kind of like the bare bones beginning of my level generator. Uh, let's see if we can move our players back into the world. Oops, did not mean to do that. Oh, we got some gear. Pick that stuff up. Oh, that, all that stuff. Why can't I select it? Yeah, that's the uh, the level generator, the random level generator right there. Oh, let's just move some of these things in here. I think that's low level. Just move these in here so I can at least get to them good enough okay cool all right so that was the that i test everything with these like boxes and just primitives so that was a weapon chest it looked like it it threw an air um this is gonna be really hard to move around because i have to control both controllers at the same time uh oh there's a health pickup oh yeah these are my placeholder weapons that was the sniper rifle i think this is the machine gun let's see yeah look at that I had the ammo counter going too. That's cool. Yeah. And this this is a shotgun. Yeah, let's I wanna pick one up with the console. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that too. I it also even says press A instead of on the keyboard, it says press E. So I got the controller detection there. Alright, I think yeah, that one just restarts the level. Oh yeah, there's my bad guys. Oh, oh this I killed them. Look at that AI. Oh, Oh no, well, that's actually better. We can uh, we can, we can move around. Oh man, okay, yeah. These uh, this was really early. Oh look, they were still going after the dead player. Interesting. Yeah, this AI is busted, and the levels are busted. And I looked when we were looking earlier. I couldn't like it doesn't even look like the. Yeah, there's not even a clear path out. And I think this is the exit. I'm pretty sure that's the exit. Uh, what is this thing? Yeah, load level, interactable load, interactable load level. So this is the way out. So you could at least get to the exit, but the, this level is busted. Um, very cool though. I haven't looked at this in forever. I have all these different icons here too. Um, yeah, cool. All right, let's go check out the next one. Uh, hopefully there'll be more to see in the next version. So look, it looks like we added a fancy menu here. Look at that. We got a whole one button there. Um, and I push enter to join. Look at that. It's very professional. Uh, these are those weapon chests again. I remember those. Found a shotgun. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Reloading. I used to have like, I tried so many different uh, like ammo systems in this game. Um, I'm sure we'll see a few of those, but I think I tried like three or four of them. Okay, so we only had shotguns in this in this version of the game, I guess. That's <laughs> there's only shotguns. 
Uh, the ammo is back. There you go. Hopefully I don't run out of ammo. I have a ramp. Cool. This camera is weird. Look how much it lets me like wiggle around in there. Nope, oh, the floor is messed up too. That's weird. It feels a lot smoother than the uh, than the other version. Like way smoother to play. I think the those guys that that run up in the red sphere pops up. I'm pretty sure that was, that was me testing out melee. Yeah, see those are oh, and he killed me. <laughs> okay, well I guess that's enough of that build. Let's go into the next one. Oh, look at that camera. We're so zoomed out now. Oh, and we got a sniper rifle. There's more than shotguns. And I got this cool... I don't remember... Did I have that... I don't think I had this little circle thing in the last one. I remember I was doing a play test with other friends. And they kept having problems figuring out which way their character was facing. So I like... This was my like heavy-handed way of trying to solve that problem. Um, oh, and I have a mini-map. Look at that. There's a little mini-map. That's cool. Let's see. And these are the abilities. They don't... They don't work. Oh, I got grenade, a grenade launcher. No, how do I use those? Oh, spacebar. Okay. Oh, that's different. Yeah, I changed all the hockeys around, so these aren't the same. That's cool. A little dash move. Um, that, I think that loads the level. If that's a healing thing, maybe. This looks earlier than my other builds. Uh, maybe I got them out of order. This looks way earlier. But we do have a door now. Hmm. Okay. Maybe not. No, no. This is definitely... Yeah, this is definitely a later build. Oh, this gun fires so slow. <laughs> I'm going to get owned. Oh. Okay. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. Oh. These guys, uh, their aggro range is really short. Oh, and you can see, look, there, that, see that little box below them? That's me reusing the, the pistol I made for the player. I use the same the same weapons uh, work for players or for NPCs. So it lets me get a lot of reuse out of it. But it's funny that it's just kind of floating there. Uh, you see, yeah, it's like floating down there. <laughs> oh, man. See, now, now uh, my enemies have a patrol behavior, so they don't just stand around. Uh, un unless I tell them to, but... Uh, they won't just stand like kind of statues there. Uh, they they kind of wander around randomly. It looks like my level generator got a lot better. Like it, honestly, I'm curious if we can actually walk through to the end of the level if I can survive. Oh, dang it! Okay, the next one I'm not sure when like this build was made. Um, it's definitely older than a year because. I uh, I still had the sci-fi stuff going on, so this, these these uh, these are the the tiles that I used for my uh, level generator. Um, I have like uh, the entrance one here, the st a straight tile turns uh, and like a hub and stuff. Um, and here here's the exit. Here's like the exit and everything. Um, so it has to be kind of old. Yeah, but you can kind of see here how I I was like blocking out the sci-fi stuff. I think it still looks kind of cool, but. Um, definitely not the kind of game I'm, I'm making now. Um, let's go see. And I, it looks like, I guess from the menu here, uh, that I, or let's readjust this so we can see it a bit better. There we go. Um, it looks like I have just added the kids. So like, I must've decided that, um, that I wanted to go that direction with the game, right? Like I wanted to do the kids in a neighborhood thing. Yeah, he's cool. So I think I was just testing out poses and. I made a couple versions of this guy, so yeah, he still looks cool. Um, oh yeah, cool. Like I had these. Uh, these are like exploding barrels and stuff. I still actually have these. They just don't look the same. So if you shoot them, it'll do damage to you or enemies. Um, yeah, cool. These are the weapon chest. Oh no, ability chests. That's cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was. I have like. A I still have this in my game. Uh, but it looks like here I have the shop, like an early stage version of the shop. Um, in my game now, you can like find candy and uh, spend that candy on items, abilities, level ups and stuff. Oh, this is cool. That's yeah, that's an early version. And then over here, it looks like I was testing the uh, the roof. So I bet if I run under there, if it was working, uh, this should fade away. 
But yeah, let's let's see if this runs. Hopefully there are no errors. Yep, here we go. Oh, look at this. This menu is so much nicer. Can I click settings? Oh, it even takes you back. So fancy. Oh, cool. I had the save games working. Um, very cool. Oh, look at this. Character select. Oh, here. Let's try. I want to try to join with the uh the Xbox controller real quick. Nice. Look at that. And can I leave? It works. There we go. Cool. Yeah, this camera works way better. It's it's really zoomed in and I'm like not centered for some reason. Look at that. Now you know how to play the game. Oh, nice. I uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was this is a this is like first version of the the level select. I had these like little cars going around and there should be a boat floating around somewhere. They actually like the cars like go on a path they loop around the whole level so like it'll be the same cars going by over and over again there's the little tugboat he just goes down here and turns around and goes back out yeah this is cool i actually i think i need to add some of this stuff back to my current level select because it it adds a lot of life um a lot of life to the world oh oh yeah the trees wobble i don't remember if i i don't know if i still have that in the game um, I really liked how this game Overcooked did their trees in their uh, level select, so that I was totally, um, totally inspired by that for this. Oh gosh, oh yeah, and I have a flashlight too. Um, I still kind of like that. That was also that was like my also still trying to solve like, hey, how do I how do I tell players what direction they're facing? Um, so yeah, it's still kind of it's kind of cool. Yeah, this the kid does not fit at all in this game in this world right he looks so weird oh oh no the weapon chests don't work oh there we go oh look i had i have a bat in there but it's like it says it's a sniper rifle weird okay yeah this was a broken broken version oh no yeah look the guns aren't oriented correctly i'm just i can shoot the ground oh and i had the um yeah i tried this for a while this like dust effect for your footsteps it just got so annoying though like it's so busy so I, I i got away from it let's see wow this is cool can i buy stuff do i have any money i don't think i have any money oh yeah so um here i was trying here's another ammo system that i tried where like you can see my this gun is green so it uses the green ammo type and then this gun is red so it would use the red ammo type um I don't know why I thought that would work. Uh, it ended up being very complicated and uh, and players really didn't know what was going on. They just keep shooting until they ran out of ammo and then uh, and then not understand what was going on. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Nice. Oh, nice and buggy. It looked like it was going to work there for a second. Let's see if it does it go away. Yeah, look at that. There you go. I don't think I can fight anybody because my weapons are pointing down. Um, oh, that didn't even explode. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we got some new enemies. Yeah, those are also from that old RTS I made. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. So, okay, that thing just that just went over our screen. Um, I, this is, I must have added the filler tiles. Let's actually pause the game and check this out. Can I see the world? Yeah, check this out. Okay. Um, so I added these tiles to kind of fill in the outer area because I didn't want to see just like space, right? Um, so I made this kind of like sci-fi city, um, and just duplicated it around a bunch. But, oh, well, this is, this is actually randomly generated. It, um, um, it just fills in the, the whole perimeter around the level with this, with what I call like a fill tile. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool still. It has a neat vibe to it. Yeah, and look, this one, this level generator actually has, it's like a clear path. There's no walls flipping over each other. And then it goes straight to the exit. Yeah, this one's much better. Oh yeah, here you can see how my AI, like they're pointing. You can see they're, they're pointing at their targets and stuff. Yeah, these models still look kind of cool. <laughs> Whoa, he's got a cigarette. <laughs> I don't know if you're, yeah. Man, yeah, these things are old and janky. I made these like probably in 
2004 or five or something. Um, very dated. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's he's seen some shit. You know you know he's seen some shit. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this build. Uh, let's go check out the next one. This the, there was a, something special happened in the next one, so I'm excited to show you. The last version I wanted to show you is a little bit crazier. I spent a couple months on a bit of an experiment. I tried to add an online multiplayer to my game uh, using this really cool Unity package called Mirror. I ultimately didn't or decided not to go with it um, because I had kind of gone too far building my game as like a local co-op game and converting it to online multiplayer was just causing tons and tons of bugs. And I just made the decision that like for my single player game, uh, or for like a single developer game, it was just gonna, it was gonna take add like a year onto the game. So I just had to have a little reality check and, and decide to cut that as a feature. So here, I started a server with the top left client and now I'm gonna join it as a client. And so that, yeah, that kind of works. Let's see, let's see how many we can have here, but if it, if it can handle four. And it, you'll, you'll kind of see it already even starts to lag at this point. I figure if like the game as it is right now, you could probably even use just like Steam Remote Play or something like that. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a really interesting experiment. Uh, I'm happy I did it. Uh, but yeah, but ultimately it, I think it was the, really the right call not to go this direction. Um, even though it would be really cool to have online multiplayer, I just... I think since I'm doing it by myself, it, it wasn't realistic to uh, to go this way. So yeah, this is it. it it's, it's really buggy if I keep going, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna kind of stick to this room. But uh, yeah, most of the work I did was on like the back end, getting all this to work and like, it, it, was, it was nuts. I learned a ton about network programming, uh, so I'm really happy I went through it. But yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of where this ended up. You guys have a pretty good idea of how the game's development went. Uh, we went from a very clunky block out version of the game through to a sci-fi version of the game um, and then even on my kind of misguided adventure into the world of online multiplayer which which I actually kind of think is still pretty cool you know I mean maybe one day but uh, it's probably not in the cards for this project if I want to actually finish it anytime soon. Um, so yeah I hope you liked the video. Um, if you did, give it a like and a subscribe. Also, one other thing too, I'm still trying to figure out like what is the correct cadence of these videos. Yeah, because I, I really do want to focus most of my time on the game and you know not not making the YouTube videos. But uh, but yeah, just in case you guys see something change, that's why. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.